In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the slow NVMe solid state disk performance on the Threadripper Zenith Extreme motherboard up there and how to fix it. And I'm starting it right now. Hey, welcome back to another video. I appreciate you stopping by. If this happens to be your first time here, consider subscribing. All right, let's talk about this NVMe slow speeds on the Threadripper Zenith Extreme motherboard. You may not even know it was running slower. I discovered it because I was curious when I did my upgrade build from the Ryzen 7 to the Threadripper. I timed the boot performance on Windows just to see how much better it would be. And I was surprised that it was booting almost twice as slow as my Ryzen 7. I thought it, because I just popped the solid state out into the new one, I thought, you know, Windows can be Windows. So I did a fresh install. Still, no luck. While well, I was playing around, because I figured there's got to be something going on, I was checking settings in the BIOS. Well, I had defaulted the BIOS, had it defaults besides my overclocking I changed, and I checked something, and I saw a spot in there for the PCIe link, and it was set to auto. Well, I did a speed test on the three different options in there, which I'll show you where that's at here in a second. And each one I went up to was a faster speed. Once I selected the Gen 3, poof, my performance was back up. I was 30-40% faster on my speed tests with the solid state drive. Alright, so now where to find it? Let's boot into the BIOS. Once you get into the BIOS, scroll over here to the Advanced tab. Scroll down to the Onboard Devices. Go into there, and here you'll see the CPU PCIe Link Mode. <clears throat> Drop it down from Auto to Gen 3. Gen 3 in my speed tests was the fastest speed. You can always do a, your own speed test between each one and see which one runs faster for you. But for me, the Gen 3 was a good 30 to 40 percent increase in speed. Windows booted a lot faster and file transfers the whole nine yards. It was a lot better once I figured out the Gen 3. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. Easy peasy. Solved to the slower NVMe speeds on the Zenith Extreme motherboard. If you guys got the same motherboard and you found other options in here by chance that has helped you increase your speeds or stability or any other kind of cool features, um, Share them in the links below and we can help everyone out with our Threadripper Zenith Extreme motherboards. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it and I will see you guys on the next video.